In this episode of It Came From My Side of the Laundry Room, we're going to take a look at some toys from one of my favorite movies of all time, Gremlins. So, stick around! Everybody and welcome to It Came From, My Side of the Laundry Room. In this episode, we're going to unbox and review two Gremlins toys from NECA, or NECA if you're a hipster or whatever. Anyway, these toys have been out for a little while. I've had the gizmo for a couple years now. I got it at Toys R Us on clearance when they were closing up shop. But I just recently got the Stripe figure, and I'm really excited to dive in and take a look at these toys. And I know this is supposed to be G.I. Joe July, but it's my birthday month. I can do whatever I want. So, here we go. Okay, folks, now let's take a look at some of these Gremlins toys. Let's kick off with Gizmo. And mind you, there are a ton of Gremlins figures out there. But I wanted to focus on just the OG Gizmo and Stripe. Maybe down the road, I'll pick up some of the other ones. But for right now, I am super happy with these two. So, first off... Sorry for any glare, but you gotta love this packaging. So, after I take these figures out and look at them, I'm gonna put them back in this. Because, what a great way to display them. And when you open it up here, with Velcro and all, everything's laid out so nice. Great artwork. NECA has some of the best packaging. Them and Funko. So, we got some tape here. Uh-oh, where's my little... Where's my file that I open with? Here it is. I know I should have a blade around, but... I don't want my kids to find it. And I have it hidden away behind me so this works in a good pinch so let's open it up and take a look well let's look at the packaging all in all here got roll track ball oh roll track ball to move mogwai eyes that's awesome and here we have some of the poses with some of his accessories here Now, this is honestly the first time I'm ever opening an NECA box. Because the ones I have, I have not taken out of the box. So, we'll put that here. Oh, that's neat. Got Billy's room here. But, let's see here. We got the trumpet. I mean, wasn't the one he played more of like a toy trumpet? But I'm assuming this is from Christmas morning. So we're going to set that there. We have his homage to Rambo. Wasn't that in Gremlins 2? And the paper clip bow. Yeah, that's Gremlins too. But we'll get into Gremlins too another day. His Santa hat. Oh, that's really nice. That's a really nice sculpt. Nice creases. Nice fabric mold, uh, sculpting on that. Very nice. Candy cane, which we won't take out. It's candy cane. Huh. Remove to enable function. I think I shall. Now that's cool. 
Now more action figures need to have that kind of functionality. So let's take a look at the articulation here. Okay, he has mobility in the shoulders, which is nice. Where it turns the white here, kind of like on a ball joint. Not super flexible, but pretty cool. His hands swivel. Has cute little toes and feet here. His legs are not poseable at all, but that's cool. Head on a ball joint. His ears, slight mobility. Yeah, I don't like the eyes at that position. But what's creepy and cool is his face should pop off here that we can put these other faces on. Now I'm not going to worry with the Rambo one because that's Gremlins 2. And like I said, we'll get into... Whoa! Uh-oh. That is super awesome. Creepy, but awesome. Just had these two holes here and two little posts. So we got a sad face. And he has this little twine belt, again, from Gremlins 2. Right? I'm pretty sure I'm right. Hmm. Doesn't go on as easy as I would like. There we go. Ooh. Oh, that's cute. It's easy for the eyes to become unaligned. So you need to be on that. This looks like a his let's take it easy type of expression. Oh, it looks like he's had 420. Very cool. But I'm going to go for the stock face. Like I said, I got beef with it. Now I understand the world of copyrights. I do. I don't feel like what I do is malicious. I mean, I've stopped for the most part, including video clips and stuff in my videos. Because you never know. I got videos that are years, years old that are getting hit with stuff from weird people. Like I talked about <clears throat> in the fall, like, like Russian hackers or something. It was some Russian company that had a very shady website said they owned Airwolf. It was like, what? And I fought it, and they dropped it. So that was cool. But Warner Brothers with a Hardee's commercial. 
Yes, I know Gizmo appeared in it because it was an ad for the old Awesome Records, but it's still a Hardee's commercial, not a Warner Brothers commercial. So that kind of bugged me. So that's why I re-edited the episode in general. <clears throat> And have, I'm going to re-upload it tomorrow as a bonus. So after you watch this, you can watch my Gremlins episode where I talk about the pop culture significance of it, my childhood love of it, and the toys and some of the uh, merch that came out around the time. It was, a, it was a fun episode, so I hope everyone tunes in. Here's the original figure from LGN LJN let me say that a little bit better he's yellowed he's older he lived in a house of smokers growing up just like I did and look they're about the same size the proportions look great on this dude but I love that expression like I said this was my homie I mean I would pretend that he was real, and I made a little shoebox house for him, like some of my other stuff. I mean, if you've listened to other episodes of mine and watched them, shoeboxes were my saving grace for a lot of things. Either homes for him, even made a home for my little Wicket action figure. I turned a shoebox into the Thunder Tank. I mean, I loved shoeboxes. And he had a little house in a shoebox because he's a little too small to be carrying around in a backpack like Billy did with Gizmo. Here's a cat walking by. But I'm going to put him back in the packaging. Oh, let's try this hat one. Oh, there we go. That's cute. That's really cute. And look at that. You got a Christmas decoration now. So, I'm going to actually put this thing back in the eye... into the eyeball, if I can. Maybe I can't. There we go. Now let's see what eyes we have. Oh, those aren't bad. So, we will finish packing him up after... Well, no, it's going back a lot easier than I thought. So, anyway, like I said, I re-edited and uploaded the video I'll talk a little bit more about it at the end of this video like a puzzle trying to get everything back in there just go for the easy stuff the bow the arrow that's nice I mean pencil, is that white out or whatever he used, I mean he went all OG guerrilla warfare on the gremlins, but the stupid trunk. Come on. Of all things, come on, trumpet. Is it like this? Hey, hey! Very nice. Now let's take a look at Stripe, shall we? So move that off to the side. Put the original gizmo over here. So this is what I picked up recently. It was at Target. It's one of those things where I always was patrolling the target and I just never had luck with it and then I finally found it. So let me take the cut this tape and then we'll take a look at the packaging. It 
Now the thing about the the gizmo packaging that was based more on the V the later VHS and DVD packaging. This is straight up the second movie poster. The first movie poster was just this with gizmo's hands and his eyes and that's all you saw even in the uh, adapted novel that was all you saw and I got that book read as much as I could at that age but I was so infatuated with that cover until the movie came out and then after the movie was out a little bit they dropped this one because the secret was out so look at that beautiful action figure picture you got stripe here and on the back you have him with the chainsaw at the Montgomery Ward the buzz saw there he is at the movie theater with the other gremlin pack you could get with the 3d glasses and the dude with the popcorn over his ears and stuff him on the skateboard and just a great picture of him here So this is the ultimate stripe. Now, I guess I should say I do want to get the the couple packs of just the generic Gremlins, but when it comes to all the ones that were were released for Gremlins 2, nah, I'm cool. I don't need the spider one or anything. Oh, that's a little disappointing. I thought it would have real grip tape on it. But or some artwork on it. Like making an old Pal Peralta board, Steve Caballero or something, that'd be cool. Got some tape over the buzz saw, so we'll leave that. I mean, it's just a buzz saw. This is what what we really want. It'd be cool if the chain moved a little bit. The plug, that's a nice touch. That's cool. Because if you remember when he got drug across the floor and it unplugged. The blade is actually a second piece. Look at that. Just like a real chainsaw blade. But it's really in there like a real blade. We got your bolts. So that's pretty cool. Oh, I can see here we have some. We have some. Whatever these things are called. Sorry for the noise. Oh, wow. Let's see if we can just thread that back on through. Uh, we got some on the arms. that back through oh his feet too gosh darn it man they really didn't want him escaping and wreaking havoc I guess they had to do that so he wouldn't cannonball into any pools or anything Real hair, that's nice touch. Mouth opens and closes, I like that. Uh, a little bit mobility, more mobility in the neck would have been nice to pivot his head around a little bit better. Do his ears move? 
a little bit, not as much as Gizmo's did. Have like the ratcheting joints here because you can feel each individual little pop as it goes up. Feet spin. His calf moves. Those are jointed as well, but they feel a little bit not as sturdy. Look at that detail on the tail, if you will. That's cool. Never really got to see that in detail like that. Almost looks like a spider, doesn't it? Yo, spider butt. Of course, his eyes don't move like Gizmo's did. Yeah, my only critique would be that I would have liked movement in his head this way. How well does this fit in there? Oh, that's pretty nice. His finger actually on the trigger there. That's a nice touch, if you can see. So that's pretty cool. All in all, it's a nice figure. It's sturdy. I do worry about these joints at his calves. I guess that's his calf. Or that's his knee. His calf here. Just moves back and forth a little bit, swivels. Oh, okay. They're jointed as well to give them that um, haunch thing, like an animal. So that's pretty cool. Am I missing something with the neck? Goes back and forth, doesn't. Well, it goes up and down a tad, but I don't think it's supposed to because you can see a gap in there. But still a very nice figure. Nice face sculpt. I dig that you can open the jaws. Yeah, yeah. Gizmo. Gaga. All in all, I dig it. I'm happy with it. But like I said, put them back in the boxes. Because I just love displaying them with the art. Let's go with the skateboard. That's the easy thing. I think fingerboards are too small because that would be awesome to have like a legit like 80 skateboard okay so all back together so we looked at stripe and gizmo the original gizmo which look I have my initials RW there wow 1984 LJN that's pretty sweet. Show that again in case you missed it. A little rust spot probably came from off of from another toy. And this, I mean, hardly n no mobility. And I just recently discovered that they had like an eight inch version, 10 inch version of this. I saw it at a flea market, it was 20 bucks. I wish I would have got it. I kicked myself in the butt for not getting it. And the only reason I didn't was I didn't have 20 bucks cash on me and I didn't have the blessing from my wife to spend $20. Because I was there with the kids and it was about them and getting them something to enjoy the day 
not myself. So a little self-sacrifice, but maybe, maybe when all of this, uh, things start reopening, I can make my way to that flea market and they'll still have it. That would be super awesome. But anyway, back to me. I hope you liked this episode. I enjoyed looking at these toys. I mean, I love Gremlins. I grew up on it. It's a big part of my childhood. And speaking of that, I did a whole episode on that. And as a bonus, I'm re-uploading that episode so you'll be able to see that tomorrow where I go over the pop culture, the history, and just how awesome Gremlins was growing up. Now, I ran into a little copyright snafu with Warner Brothers over a Hardee's commercial of all things, which Gizmo hardly even appears in it, but, but anyway. So that episode's gonna to drop tomorrow if you wanna take a look at it. If you haven't seen it before, have fun. If you have seen it before, give it another watch because it's gonna be lonely without any views. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that episode. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you got something to say, please leave a comment. I love reading them and I love getting back to everybody. And if you're new around here and you liked this episode or any of the ones that YouTube is recommending down here, please hit subscribe. And if you hit that little bell icon, you will be notified whenever there's a new episode. So thanks for watching and until next time, keep being rad and stay dorky.